to the vlog. Today we'll be taking a closer look at biology. Biology is the study of life, so let's scavenge around my house to see what might be living. But first, this isn't really something that a scientist would wear. Let's get into scientist gear. Yay, that's much better. Now we can go explore around my house to observe what might be living. In order for an organism to be living, they have to follow a couple of requirements. These requirements are that they must be made up of cells, have different levels of organization, use energy, respond to environmental changes, grow, reproduce, and adapt. Some examples of living organisms outside of those seen around Cindy's house would be celery, bacteria, fish, and flatworms. One of the requirements for an organism to be living is that it has to be made up of cells. Now, what might cells be? Cells are the basic unit of life. They are the smallest particles that are alive. Whoa, that was a lot. Biology is pretty amazing. Now let's move on to some experiments to learn more about biology. Yay, so our first experiment is called color symphony. The materials you'll need for this experiment are some milk, food coloring, detergent, and a Q-tip, and a plate. So what do you think will happen when we add dish detergent and food coloring to the milk? Let's test it out. So the first thing you'll need to do is pour the milk onto your tray so that it covers the entire base of the tray. Now we're going to add a couple drops of food coloring to the top of the milk. That was so embarrassing. Now we'll add one drop of dish detergent to the milk. Whoa, why did that happen? Why did the colors all spread apart once the detergent was added? Milk is mostly composed of water, fat, and protein molecules. Fat is hydrophobic, afraid of water, and food coloring is hydrophilic, attracted to water. And it is less dense, so it stays on top of the milk surface. Detergent is amphipathic, meaning that it is both water-fearing and water-loving. So it dissolves and mixes the fatty and water molecules, causing the food coloring to swirl above the milk, like you see here. Now, how might this apply to biology? If you recall from earlier, cells are the basic unit of life. Cell membranes are composed of a phospholipid bilayer. The outside is hydrophilic and the inside is hydrophobic, similar to how the milk is hydrophobic and the food coloring is hydrophilic. Now let's move on to the next experiment. Now let's look at DNA. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA is the genetic code for all life forms. The four types of nucleotides, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine, code for all the information to make you. 
It is shaped as a double helix or a twisted ladder as shown in the picture right here. How cool! Our DNA determines how we look, how we function, and much more. In this experiment, we will be observing the DNA of strawberries. The materials you will need are strawberries, isopropyl alcohol, dish soap, salt, a Ziploc bag, coffee filters, measuring utensils, beakers, or containers, tweezers, and spoons. The first thing you're going to want to do is chill the alcohol. Then, measure out 90 milliliters of water in a beaker. Add 10 milliliters of dish soap. and one fourth teaspoon of salt into the water and mix it all up to get a homemade extraction solution. Next, place 10 strawberries in a plastic zipper lock bag, pour your extraction solution into the bag with the strawberries, remove the air, and seal it. Use your hands to mash the strawberries inside the bag until there are no large pieces remaining. This is how it should look like. Pour the resulting mixture through a coffee filter and into a 50 to 100 milliliter beaker. Use a spoon to push it through if needed. Add five milliliters of your chilled isopropyl alcohol to the solution and hold the mixture at eye level. Can you see how there's a separation of white stuff from the rest of the solution? That's the DNA of the strawberries. Gently remove the DNA from the solution using tweezers. What can we deduce from this? Strawberries have DNA just like us. Every life form contains DNA. Our method of extracting DNA from strawberries is just one method of studying DNA from organisms, one of which would be the Human Genome Project. The Human Genome Project's purpose is to determine the DNA sequence of an entire human genome. A genome is a full set of genes in an organism. You can also apply the same procedure we did with the strawberry to other fruits, our own cheek cells, and any other living organism. How exciting! Thanks for joining us today. We hope you had fun. Tune in next time. Bye!